Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about uploading game assets and placing them on the grid. I'm also going to talk about uh, uh, object uh, settings and physics and how to create text objects. Now here you can see I have already placed uh, some of the assets, loaded and placed them under the grid. But when you start out, the only um, asset that you have is the launcher.png. The rest have to be uploaded by you. So how to do it? Press the upload file button and then select the asset that you want to upload, click on it and click open. The other way to do it is click on the upload file button and then uh, drag and drop it into the assets panel. You have to do this for each and every one of the assets. Now about placing them on the grid, uh, select the asset that you want and then just uh, click drag and drop it into the gridded area. Now, uh, that is another thing you have to do for each and every asset. It doesn't really matter where you place them, except for the character asset. That, uh, that matters. So you can see where I have placed it. Now you can see that some of the assets have several frames in one picture. Uh, to set uh, one picture per frame, you have to uh, change the frame uh, width. Now I have clicked on the assets uh, panel, then uh, yeah, change the frame width to 180. Uh, some of the assets have um, smaller frames, like the character, which is uh, uh, 90. And so yeah, do it uh, for each uh, asset that have multiple frames. Now about creating text, uh, text objects, it's very simple, just uh, click on the, yeah there are several text objects here, just uh, click on the text tool, then click everywhere on the gridded area and just write in the text that you want, click uh, done, done and uh, use the select tool to move the text around and place it where you want it. Now if you want to change the color, you can, here is the tool, you can just choose the color, I'll choose white, you can set it to bold or italic, change the size and uh, change the font. Uh, so yeah, setting text is very simple and uh, it matters where you place the text, so if you're creating the game like I have, uh, this particular example, then uh, place it as you see it here. Now about settings, uh, when it comes to the meteorite object, click on it and uh, so I have scaled it a bit smaller, not 1 but uh, 0 0.7, I just thought it looks better, the same I did with the shield. And now finally moving on to physics. Now when it comes to physics, physics has to be enabled for each object. Each object has to be movable. And for each object uh, the gravity is not allowed, it's set to zero. Because this is a space shooter game and in space there is no gravity. And uh, for the meteorite I have al also allowed rotation, so set to one. And another thing I have done uh, for uh, object like characters, uh, character and uh, alien is I s have set the size, width and height uh, to not to minus 1, but for example in this one to 60 and 60. Uh, that means the physical object will be a little smaller and will, uh, when I will uh, check the collision between objects, uh, then uh, uh, the object, yes, it will be smaller and uh, there won't be collision between uh, thin air because uh, the frames are a bit bigger than the picture. And another thing I did was uh, setting the anchor. So it's very important that for each uh, object, uh, when you click on it in the gridded area, then you uh, click on the settings and you have to place the anchor to 0 0.5 
Uh, so the anchor, anchor is a rotation point and the uh, anchor will also tell uh, where exactly the object uh, is located on the X and uh, Y axis. Uh, so and that will be later uh, very important in the programming part. And well, that is it for this video. So uh, thank you for watching and subscribe and like if you found this helpful.